Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to this uh, last day of the Columbus Symposium, starting with a very interesting session on the new focus countries for the next year. Today we will get a short insight how the next year will look like. Uh, we will get presentations about Bahrain, uh, Mongolia, Sri Lanka, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Kazakhstan. I am leading you through the morning and I think we have a little bit to be flexible with the speakers because some are here, some are not. So, but we have uh, the speaker from Bahrain here, Rashid Shaheen. He's the CEO of the International Consortium of Manama. And I'm very looking forward to your talk, your first presentation as well. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. And thank you all for uh, coming. My name is Rashid Shaheen, and uh, I'm from Bahrain. My speech today is uh, I've started with business friendly Bahrain. Um, first, I'll, uh, I'll go very briefly uh, and talk about Icon as a group company, and then I'll uh, shift to uh, talk about Bahrain and why Icon has chosen Bahrain to uh, operate for. So uh, we'll be going through the uh, Icon, as I said, as a, as a group company, and its business units, vision, mission, and strategy. And we'll talk about the, uh, some facts and figures about Bahrain. Um, talk about Bahrain as a market access to the uh, Gulf economies. The advanced business environment in Bahrain all uh, touch based on the cost effectiveness and uh, talk about the workforce in the, in the Gulf and uh, compare it uh, with the workforce in Bahrain uh, and we'll also touch base on the quality of life in Bahrain. <clears throat> Icon as a group company has got multiple uh, business units as you can see uh, we call it the Icon Geo which looks at um, everything to do with maps, GIS, home sensing and uh, I've also Icon Consulting, focusing on technology and management, Icon R&D, Icon Training, Icon Tourism, and Icon Business Center. Our vision is to have a unique presence in any market we target, make a great positive and valuable difference in any projects or business we do. Our mission is to deliver high quality products and services in the fields of technology, science, medicine, industry, play a major role in taking care of the environment, contribute to the community, and build a strong relationship with all of our organizational stock stakeholders, be it employees, customers, and communities. We have a very well-defined and clear strategy that we are working uh, according to and our philosophy of operation is based on a number of principles to name some built long-term sustainable friendly relationship with everyone we deal with. This is one, one of our philosophy in, 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 in working and operating in ICOM, being innovative in everything we do. Help people around the world come together, communicate, and see life from a different positive perspective. And we use our resources to the fullest, waste nothing, and do only what we can do best. <clears throat> Kingdom of Bahrain, uh, that's where I come from, and we'll talk about why ICON has chosen Bahrain to operate from. So I'll show you a, a short movie, I hope you will enjoy it. It, it just briefs why we've chosen Bahrain and why other businesses, international businesses, have chosen Bahrain to open it from. Street with boundaries, 
wish you were here. I'll be up to you, always for sure. And the first job I want to apply is being big belly bar, Bahrain. Fact, the Gulf's largest and best regulated financial center is in business for you, Bahrain. Hi, Max. Driving back from Saudi. Contract finalized. Help, fishing, going well. Spare a thought for us in Bahrain, casting net. Share of a trillion dollar golf market. I suspect, though, we're getting more bites than you are in Scotland. Best, David Menzies, business development director, Cisco Systems, Bahrain. Fact, a trillion dollar market is right on your doorstep in business world Bahrain. Hi, Celia. Thanks for the birthday wishes. 40. Fascinating deep fact. I'm exactly the same age as the central bank of Bahrain. However, while the CBD casts an experienced regulatory eye over a superb business environment, I'm just an aging wannabe with fantasies of jamming with Springsteen. See you at the conference? I'll be wearing the bandana. Todd McCain's senior VP accounts of HSBC Europe. And all the finance guys I need right here. The standard of class is exceptional. In fact, my new assistant has an MBA. She knows more than I do. Should I be worried? Philip Walker, director, American Express, Middle East, Bahrain. I feel the good news. Bahrain allows 100% foreign ownership, giving us total freedom to operate. The other good news, total freedom plus our team's sales genius means we're beating on quarterly targets. The bad news? There is no bad news. Best wishes, Jiltan, sales director, Huawei, Bahrain. Fact, the Gulf's most liberal business environment is in business for you, Bahrain. Hi, Hanukkah. Your question, where do we find people to run new Bahrain plant? My answer, Bahrain, of course. Government here has devised a great scheme to train local workforce. Bottom line, no expensive staff relocation from Tokyo. That doesn't include you, of course. Yusuke Sekimichi, Operational Development Director, Yokogawa. Hi Jess, I might have mentioned this before. To get goods to Saudi fast, route them through Bahrain. With the causeway, we're an hour away. Why do you think DHL is based here? I do love you guys, but think in the future, it's not rocket science. Yes for now, Faye Brown, strategist, KPMG, Bahrain. Fact, the best access to the trillion dollar Gulf market is from business friendly Bahrain. Facts and, and, and figures. Now, uh, um, probably you hear them in the uh, movies. Why Bahrain? Bahrain, if you look at the, at the map, Bahrain is located at a very strategic position uh, in the heart of the uh, Gulf. Uh, and we'll see later on, that's only a few minutes or a few hours distance from major cities in the world. These are some of the track records. Um, Bahrain was the first to start the male education in the region. It was also in 1990. It was also the first to start the female education. The first to discover oil in the uh, Middle East. And first to start an economic diversification strategy that favored the oil industry sectors. Although uh, oil was found first in Bahrain, but Bahrain, uh, the government of Bahrain started to think about the diversification of the economy and not just depending on the oil um, and the oil reserve. Uh, <coughs> Bahrain 
was also the first to establish uh, the banking sector and the financial, uh, and it's regarded as one of the financial hubs in the world. It was also uh, the first to introduce the democratic reforms in the region, to embark on privatization programs, to fully liberalize the telecommunication sector, and was the first to sign an FTA loan to the United States of America. It was also a co-founder of the GC Common Market, which is a common market. <coughs> As you can see here, the, uh, the economy is as well diversified. Uh, there's oil and gas, there's telecoms and transport, looking at the right hand side, manufacturing, construction, trade, financial services, real estate and others. Look at the market access to the Gulf economies. On the right hand side you see the, the numbers there showing the number of hours uh, and the distance between uh, when you travel from Bahrain to the uh, all the capitals in the uh, Gulf area, the GCC, it, it's uh, it's about an hour or even less than an hour, 45 minutes, 50 minutes by air to uh, to Kuwait, to Saudi, to UAE, to uh, Oman, and uh, it's, it's only about 20 minutes to Qatar. Again, it's uh, between 3 to 3.5 hours uh, to uh, other major cities in the Middle East. And when it comes to Europe, we are talking about uh, between 5 to 7 hours of flight, flight time. On the left-hand side, you can see the... Uh, therefore, due to the strategic location, the, uh, it has got an access to a large and growing market. And uh, we say that there are about 36 million consumers in the Gulf, about 440 million consumers in the MENA area. Uh, and over the next decade, the GCC is poised to grow 4.5% per annum versus the global average of 3.3%, with an economy, economy worth of 2 trillion US dollars by 2020. Again, this, uh, as you can see at the bottom of the, the, the slides, it only shows the, the, the causeways between Bahrain being an island and the link to Saudi Arabia. It's only 30 minutes by car to Saudi Arabia, crossing the causeway on the left-hand side, and, um, and it's going to be around 50 minutes to cross the causeway to Qatar, which is under construction at the moment. <clears throat> what I want to show in this slide is that the, uh, it, it's very easy to uh, get to, to Bahrain and when it comes to the uh, visas and the uh, visas policies, uh, visas for the GCC residents, we are talking about the GCC residents, the, um, not only the, the the nationals of these countries, but also the expats who are living in the GCCs, uh, require no visa to come to Bahrain. And for um, expats coming from abroad, they get a visa and the airport, a 14 days visa, which is extendable. Uh, and it's obviously it's available uh, upon arrival for residents of the EU, United States, Canada, Singapore, Australia, Japan, and Hong Kong. And there are actually others, but this is uh, just to name some. <coughs> Bahrain has a very attractive logistic uh, systems uh, and uh, as you can see it has got uh, a modern infrastructure, low cost, favorable business environment and when it comes to training and skills there are some government organizations which are um, focusing on the training and providing um, uh, funds for companies to train people. So uh, training is quite an important factor and the element they are trying to focus on. And of course, uh, when it comes, uh, we shouldn't forget about the lifestyles and uh, business is good, but 